We've been here before with Tottenham, haven't we? They are have been a club of so many yeah. false dawns. But I don't know, something feels as though it's bubbling there. Well, I think we said when we went to Tottenham a couple of weeks ago, it was a Saturday night and uh, they were playing Manchester United, that they're going to have a lot of fun this season with the way in which Postacoglu plays. And I think it really fits the way in which Tottenham fans see the vision of their club and how they see Tottenham playing sort of over the years. Only one small... I say small things. I think it's quite a big negative, but it almost slipped through in midweek because everyone was sort of concentrating on other things. But when they went out of the Carabao Cup, that was like, a, oh, don't do that. Don't go out of the Carabao Cup. I know they're playing Fulham, but that's one of the two trophies you can probably win. So don't go out of that because, you know, if you want to try and win a trophy and turn the sort of, you know, the, the fortunes of the club around and bring silverware, then that's one of the two you really need to pay attention to. So that's the negative. But in the league, they've been really good. I mean, they've, they've, they've got... Like you say, they've amassed an amount of points, which would be, you know, Tottenham fans would love. Postacoglu would have definitely wanted to get that amount of points. And then, and they play an exciting football. That's the main thing. They play an exciting football, which Spurs fans believe in.